Okay, here's the three-pole asymmetrical um, machine running. And uh, it was recommended that I build a three-pole. And that's the three-pole running right there. And it's still not right. And I think that the problem is my magnets now. I need to wrap the magnets around that armature better to get the generator. It runs as a motor. Great. It runs just like the two-pole, though. And um, let me take the battery off and see it run on the capacitor. Now that's just that 10 farad uh, 2.3 volt capacitor. It actually ran better on the two pole. Um, I was using 30 gauge wire and I think that bifiler wound uh, armature was better. But uh, this is just a uh, built the way that UFO politics showed the uh, three-pole motor built and uh, like I say it runs it runs uh, it does most of the things that you want this to do but it's not generating I'm still getting that AC signal out of it and uh, it has to do I think with the, the commutator brush arrangement and the way the magnets wrap around that armature but uh, let me stop it here Show you what's going on. The three poles, it's got the three electromagnets that go out to three commutators in such a way that as one is driving, the other two are supposed to be generating. And like I say, it runs and it runs on all the different configurations, but it's not generating correctly. And I have not. Uh, come to the firm conclusion as to why that's not working correctly. The, uh, the commutator uh, has to line up with the brushes in such a way that two of the coils energize at one time while the other coil is energized. And uh, I think uh, the dynamic of that I need to look into. But anyway, that's the, uh, the latest statement, uh, state of affairs on that little motor there. That's the three-pole uh, asymmetrical machine. Thanks for watching.